uh, CB Giddy ukulele kits, put them together and uh, helped out some youngsters uh, get a taste of the cigar box guitar frenzy, if you will. It's a bit of a sickness. I know because there's probably 60 or 70 cigar boxes lining the walls of my garage, as well as some of the folks that build cigar boxes probably have 80 or 100 or more lining the walls of their shops. Somebody says to me one day, what do you make in your workshop? I said, a lot of sawdust. And occasionally a guitar comes out of that mess. So this afternoon, what I'd like to do is uh, I've got a couple guitars behind me that are of different styles of cigar box building. I'm not going to preach to you about what's the best or what works. There are no rules uh, to cigar box guitar building. Uh, Ken Mayfield's got guitars made out of shovels. Personally, me, myself, and Ken Mayfield, we also both have guitars that are based on oil cans. His is WD-40, mine's mobile. It's just a personal preference. <laughs> Uh, last year we had a builder out here that was building guitars out of jewelry cases, violin cases. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'd be scared to play it because I'm kind of rough on my stuff. Um, so, if it'll hold tension, it'll hold a string. And if it'll hold a string, you can make music out of it. Should you? Mm, I'll leave that up to y'all to decide. So, but could you? Yes. But we're talking, we're getting into human cloning kind of things. Like, can you? Yes. Should you? Mm, great. You know, whatever works for you. So, when it comes to tuning a cigar box guitar, the first lesson I ever got in, in uh, tuning a cigar box guitar was you tune the guitar to the way it, the cigar box, the way it wants to be tuned. You can't just, it's like, you know, you walk into a guitar center, you pick up a guitar, and they all play the same, right? You just stylistic differences. Cigar box guitars, let's face it folks, it's a stick on a box. It's a stick on a box. Does everybody get that? It's a stick bolted to a box. So, you know, it, it, the difference between a cigar box and a cigarette pack is a little bit of wood. It's just a little further. If you ordered food, you better check on it because I'm loud. I'm just letting you know. The difference between a uh, cigar box and a cigarette pack is literally where it's at in the recycling chain. It's a package that holds pre-rolled tobacco. You know, folks have been throwing them away for years. Folks have been putting art supplies in them, tchotchkes, making clocks and pocketbooks out of them. And people have been making guitars out of these things since the 1870s. <laughs> what works for the box. I've broken strings trying to force a tuning onto a box. I've broken boxes trying to force a tuning onto a box. This particular box is my stage guitar. I use this at my gigs. This guitar has been back and forth across the country a couple times. I don't know if y'all caught AJ Gaither's set over here. AJ is straight up badass. His guitars are the most traveled cigar box guitars on the planet. Them guitars got miles on them, y'all. So this particular guitar, and this is for you players, if you want to play a cigar box guitar, this one's got four strings. It's a relatively short scale. And I tune it to an odd open E tuning. So for those of you taking notes, filming, it's E, E, B, E. So this is my Seattle grunge rock cigar box guitar.
join the Baptist church. I'm going to be a Baptist preacher. Lord, I won't have to work. So, as opposed to just going into the rest of the song like I normally would do. Y'all catch that? Cheer, you gotta put a little bass in your voice, darling. You gotta get up out there in the mix. We're just having a little fun over here. So anyway. You'll notice with this open E fifth tuning, it's low. <laughs> I got heavy strings and light strings playing the same notes. So now we're micing up a washed up bass. I'd be lying if I said I knew how to play that damn thing. So if you got a harmonica, grab an A harp. You got an A harp? Is that what you got on? All right, then you better play in some position that I'm not aware of. Don't, let you know. Don't be that guy. The misery whistle over there just fucking shit up just let you know <laughs> where the kids at too late well then now I was in a pulpit Lord jumping up and down well then Down. I was so glad y'all I believe in my 